everybody. My guest tonight is a Tony-winning actor you've seen in Spotlight, The French Dispatch, and the Showtime series Ray Donovan. He now stars in Ray Donovan, The Movie. I should have killed him then. And then what? I don't know. Maybe none of this would have happened. You're probably right. None of it would have happened. No wife. No kids. No life. Probably better for everyone if I had. It's some sacrifice, Ray. You'd be willing to give up all those years. All that life. Just for him. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Liev Schreiber. <laughs> I'd ever see one of those again. Nice to see you again. Thanks for thanks for coming back, Thank man. Thank you for having me. No, you something you went through an interesting thing recently over over Christmas and, and the New Year's. You were oh, stuck yeah. in Chile. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been planning this. Uh, we'd been planning this trip to uh, the Antarctic for the kids for um, for years now. And was this their idea or your idea? It was actually my friend Taylor's idea. Okay. Um, and uh, we, uh, we get down, 12-hour flight to Chile, and um, we get down there and we, we bought all this expensive expedition gear because you need special sure. clothes to sure. walk in the snow. And Man is not, you know, is not habitable. We're not equipped to live yeah. down there, right. So we're waiting to get on the plane, and it turns out that one of the kids in our group, because we brought a lot of kids, uh, had a, a positive COVID test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to kill him, but I, 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 I'm okay now, and, I, and I'm okay with his dad, Jeremy. I love you. Um, and uh, so we spend, we're told by the people, they, they bring us back to this kind of concrete bunker, which is really the only hotel in this area of Chile, and uh, they tell us that we have to stay there for seven days because of close contact. Mind you, we have this adventure waiting for us, so we start to, and of course, two days into that, I test positive. Oh, uh, and then we sort of get these staggered uh, positive tests. So I've spent the past 16 days in a, in a concrete bunker. bunker. Uh, uh, Is this where you got the keyboard? Is this... Oh, no? yeah, right. So someone asked me if they could get me anything, which was very kind of them. And I said, um, you know, it would be awesome if, if you could find me an electronic keyboard, you know, just so I could practice. Mm -hmm. John. And... Uh, <laughs> Do you play? And I didn't know you play. I do play. I mean, not like that, but I, I, I play a little bit. And uh, they found me one of those old-school Casio keyboards. Sure. And at first, I was very... I was like, you know, a Casio. Seriously, you couldn't find anything about And then I found this dance button. I think that's what we have. That's we have a, a clip series, here. Uh, yeah, is that what this okay, is? You with okay. the dance button? This is DJ COVID? Jim? <laughs> Sixteen days. Sixteen days. I figured now that Ray's over, it's probably good to have some in my pocket. Another lovely thing that you've done uh, is also this was during COVID, right? You were in Venice. Oh yeah. Uh, shooting a film. The, the, in Venice. the first COVID. Before we had any vaccines yeah. or a yeah. plan or anything. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Okay, so yeah. when when the were you crazy in Venice? COVID. Yeah. Uh, last year. Had you spent much time in Italy before this? No. This and this, no, no, I had been, for the film festival, I had been to Venice. And it's, mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite places it's in the world. Ridiculously it's ridiculously so magical. beautiful. I like getting off the main path. Like, I go there all the time. I, <laughs> when I've been lucky enough to be there, I like getting off the main path and going to the little side streets and see if I can find my way out before, <laughs> before, yeah. before the rats eat me. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's yeah. these little, it's a little warren of streets. It's you can get lost in a minute. It's important to know where you're going. Yes. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. No, but for me, it was always packed with tourists and or the film festival. Right. 
But right now, I mean, the Venetians have their city back. It's like it's empty. And it's so beautiful to walk down those streets in the middle of the night in Venice. It's exquisite. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Liev Schreiber, everybody.